Hi everybody, I'm Rick with Refurb Phone Exchange and today I'm going to talk to you about the Plantronic CS50. We often have customers ask how to get it set up, so today we're going to give you an overview on the basic procedures to getting it up and running. First off, I'm going to explain the different parts that come with your CS50. You get the headset, you get the base, you get the headband, some come with ear loops, it's one or the other. You get the RJ11 or phone cord, you get the power supply, and the optional part is the handset lifter. This is an additional charge, but you can choose the bundle if you want to get the handset lifter. Chances are when you first get your unit, the uh, battery is going to be really low, so it's very important you plug in the power supply as soon as you get it. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to plug in the handset lifter and the cords at the same time. So if you lift the unit upside down, you'll see it says Plantronic CS50. If you look to the left of that, to the far left, you'll see where the power supply plugs in. So I've already plugged the power supply into the wall, so now I'm going to plug it into the CS50. You'll also see a port directly next to the power supply. That's where your handset lifter goes. So I'm going to plug that in now. Now, what a lot of customers do is they mix up the, the handset plug and the phone plug. So I'm going to give you an easy way to remember it. Uh, your handset plugs into the bottom port and the phone port plugs into the top. So, first off, take the RJ11 or phone cord that came with your uh, CS50, plug it into the top port. Once you've done that, we're going to unplug the handset and plug it into the CS50. You don't want to confuse it so it's good to do it one after the other. Now, it's pretty tricky to plug this in, so try to have patience, but luckily my fingers aren't that big, so I can get it in pretty easy. Now that you've plugged all the wires into the bottom of the unit, uh, you'll notice the lights that are on. The solid red light means that the unit's getting power. The blinking orange light means it's charging. And if you, if everything's plugged in correctly, if you lift the unit or press the button, you'll see the solid green light. That means that it's in headset mode. Uh, once you press the button again or hang it up, it'll go out of headset mode and back to handset mode. Now that you've checked all the lights and made sure the unit's getting power, it's charging, and the optional handset lifter is actually working, You'll notice we still have the phone cord that we didn't plug into the phone. This is going to plug into the handset port on the back of your phone. Now that we've plugged that in, the unit should be functional. The tricky part is setting up your handset lifter to the phone. You'll need some adjustment, and this button on the top adjusts the power level of the lifter. So you'll have to fiddle with it a little bit, but um, you shouldn't have a problem getting it working. It has uh, some sticky pads on the side that will allow the lifter to stick to your phone. The final test we want to do for your CS50 is to make sure that you can hear the person on the other end of the headset. Make sure you take the handset off but since you don't have your handset lifter set up. I can hear them loud and clear. Good to go. Press the button. It hangs up. Hang your handset up. I hope this video helped you guys in setting up your CS50. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or visit the website at refurbphoneexchange.com. 
Our phone number is 1-800-95-REFURB, and good luck setting it up.